All right, guys, let's check out the Glycine Combat Sub GMT. And this is, of course, the root beer colorway done with a bronze case, bronze bezel, bronze crown. Nice, rich, warm tones on this guy. Big thanks to Larry C. I will put a link to his YouTube channel down below. Definitely give him a check and let him know that I sent you. So this is the GL0316. Not even going to talk about the retail price on it because they do like that Invicta model where they like have a crazy high retail. I don't even know what it is on this one. But the reality is you can pick these up for just over $600 from Ashford. I'll put a link to them down below. I'm not affiliated with them, but they are a Glycine authorized dealer and they have some really good deals on Glycine. I have personally picked up one from them and it was a very smooth transaction. I actually ended up returning that one and their customer service was great. Uh, I'm not sure if that's where Larry picked up this one, but also my buddy Craig picked up one of these from Ashford and he said it was totally fine. So I don't think you have to fear or worry about ordering from Ashford. I think they're legit. They're good to go. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and order from them. Good prices. So you're looking at a 42 millimeter case on this, 50 lug to lug. So don't let that scare you though, that 42 by 50, those numbers typically might scare off a certain wrist size. But because this thing is only like 11 millimeter thick and they have a nice curve down feature to the um, case there, to the lugs, I think you'll find that this thing wears really good. Seven and a half millimeter oversized screw down crown, going to give you that 200 meter water resist. And in this current configuration, which this is not the factory strap, this is the factory strap over here, but this one might weigh a little bit more than the factory. It's weighing in at 94 gram. So nice weight to this guy for sure. The movement inside, I'm sure it has some sort of glycine number to it, but it's the Salita SW330. It's their GMT style movement. As you can see that red hand there, that's your GMT hand. And then you have a 48 click bi-directional bezel. And it seems to work pretty good on this one. I think Craig said his was a little loose. I don't know if it's looser than this. I will check his out soon though. Um, this one was a little gritty feeling when I first received it from Larry, but after playing with it a bunch, it has really smoothed out. It feels good. So nice clicks to it and it seems like it, it stays pretty good. I mean, like you could bump it, I'm sure, um, if you, you know, wore it and had your hand in pockets and stuff like that, I'm sure it could grab and maybe twist, but Overall, I think it's a very good bezel action on this guy. Now, the way this movement works on this one, of course, you can unscrew the crown. Nice pop to it. You're going to have a nice smooth wind in that first position. The second position is where you're going to be able to adjust the date and advanced only the GMT hand. So one direction, you can change the date, which is all a white wheel with red print. And then in the other direction of the crown, you will advance the GMT hand to whatever time you want to track. Whether it be on either side, you have to go all the way around. Now that will not change the date. Only advancing the hour and minute hand will change the date or doing it with the quick set. Last position, of course, will hack the movement, stop the seconds, and then you can adjust your actual time which will in turn also adjust the GMT hand as it moves forward. So the GMT hand's on a 24 hour track and then your hour and minutes on a 12 hour track. So that's just the ba basics of it. You do have a display case back with a, you know, so you have the, the glass here, which is probably mineral, it's probably not sapphire, the front sapphire. And then the case back here is stainless steel. So that keeps it a little bit off your wrist. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the bronze being directly on your wrist. Now, if we zoom in on this guy, you should be able to see, I think it's printed in there pretty clearly. Yeah, right up in this, this area, right up in there, you'll see it says SW330. That's typically, if you look in that area in the movements, if you can see them, you'll see what the manufacturer is and what model it is of that. But this bronze is already starting to patina a little bit. It's mostly still shiny. You can reshine these up too. 
there's there's videos out there showing you how to do it you have a two-tone aluminum root beer bezel on this and then you have a nice deep rich dark brown with gold print on the dial and then the handset almost looks like it's bronze too or it's at least brushed in such a way that it does look like it nice date magnifier and there you go as a look at that side i tried to warm up the video a little bit so it kind of picks up on some of the tones but i don't know that it's fully capturing it it almost has a little bit of a rose gold nice uh rich color to it overall just a beautiful looking colorway from these guys you can get some bronze combat subs and i might actually order one in the non-GMT, as much as I really like the GMT, I might try the non-GMT one just because they're like, they're even cheaper, yeah. They're like under $400 typically. So, um, but I don't know, this root beer one's really cool. So if I order one, it's gonna be a tough call. The factory strap on this does come with bronze hardware. You can swap that over to an aftermarket strap if you want. And this one's fine. It works, it has quick release spring bars. But I'm not, I'm just not personally a huge fan of padded leather. And this is a nice thinly padded leather. They'll, they'll break in and wear fine. But I like the darker, richer tone of this leather strap. This was a custom one that I had made by EA Leather Goods. You can get a hold of him via Instagram and spec out a leather strap. There is going to be a wait time. And they're not cheap because they are custom made to your specifications. But I think this one pairs up really good with it. Let me pop it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what this looks like. I'll probably put it on maybe a little loose. I don't know. Let's see. No, I'll just put it on regular. Here we go. As you can see on my size wrist, it wears absolutely perfect. There's zero problems with this. Plenty legible, and I just love the tones of this thing. The loom on most glycine combat subs, as far as I can ever remember videoing them, is not spectacular. I mean, I can even cheat a little bit and blast it with the UV light, but I think it might be C1 loom or something, so it's, it's not heavily applied either. It's not amazing. It's there, but it's just... Their loom is usually a little on the uh, weak side, we'll say. But overall looks good. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next vid.